The Panama Canal is one of the world's most vital shipping routes. About 14,000 vessels transit the waterway annually, including about 40% of all U.S. container traffic. But recent droughts have plagued the artery. A drought in 2023 and 2024 forced the canal's operator, the Panama Canal Authority, to enact weight restrictions and limit vessel transits to 18 ships per day. About 36 ships cross the canal daily. The drought was Panama's worst in over 70 years. But how does a 50-mile-long waterway connected by two oceans run low on water? Gatun Lake, built in large part by the U.S. in the early 1900s, sits on a mountain range at the center of the canal. It supplies fresh water to operate the canal's four sets of locks. The problem, water levels at Gatun Lake fell eight feet below average. One of the things that people did not realize is that the Panama Canal operates on fresh water. And then we are rainfall dependent. How does the water level impact the business of the Panama Canal when it's too low? If levels are too low, then ships cannot load as much cargo, so they will not run business as usual. During the drought, it was necessary for vessels to be a lot lighter in order to traverse the canal. And one way that the companies did this was to offload containers. Companies like Maersk use the land bridge, and that is directly behind me. To prepare for future droughts, the Panama Canal Authority plans to spend $1.6 billion and build a new reservoir that would hold 1.2 billion cubic meters of water. But the proposed Rio Indio project is facing resistance. The new reservoir would be built by flooding 17 square miles of land, impacting an estimated 2,500 people. Olegario Hernandez's village will be at the bottom of the reservoir if the plan moves forward. They said it's going to rise 100 meters high. I don't want to leave because my land is enough for me to support myself. I can't support myself there. To get a first-hand look at how droughts are impacting the Panama Canal, the challenges canal operators face, and the people impacted, CNBC boarded a tugboat and a motorized canoe in Panama.